Hi, so this is BFW Classroom again, and I'm going into Adobe Spark and wanting to show you something uh, neat and different, just some ideas of how those animations work. So if you have your tile or your setup already done, and you click Animations, again I'm working on an iPad here, so if you're working your Chromebook, you'll see these tilings that are at the bottom here on your right hand side, or you'll end up seeing them in the app on the bottom of the app, sort of like it's laid out here with the iPad. So animations are different. Um, when you first open animations, so if you have none, you won't have anything here. It'll open and give you animations that deal with just the text. So you can see here, sort of like the typewriter effect. You can see these flickerings, which are kind of nice. I don't always recommend the flickerings for students. You never know when you have a student that might be photo um, sensitive. So keep that in mind. Um, or if you are a student trying to create something, keep again in mind you might have photo sensitive audience. I don't recommend like big bright colors when you do the burst through. Um, this one, which is kind of interesting, does the coloring again, but it does the highlights, the borders, and stuff like that. Um, you do have the fades that go through. Now, since I have two different text boxes, they fade both of them in. If you want to get around doing this, one of the things I did was on this side, you can actually, on the right side, uh, put that all as one picture. Instead of having a text box, it's up to you. Um, but down here, what I wanted to do was show you a neat little trick that I figured out the other night when I was making the card. So to create a highlighted vert or, or wording before the card fades in, I created a text with black text and then had it fade in with the secondary text being a color. And so what you can see is I have my wording, my text box here with the edging around it with the offset and I created two different sets of colors. So I have a blue and a black and I also have a secondary style that's just red to kind of get the pop. And I would try to pick the same color red as the Spark um, app key. So I dropped that in first and then did that. If you don't know how to do that, if you're on an iPad, you can click your um, color dropper. And you can see it changes. And then go back in and it'll pick the red that's in the app there. All right. Um, as far as the animations go, I still like this one. I'll probably keep this as my intro and my outro setup for a while. But pick one that suits you, and I hope you enjoy. This is BFW Classroom. Thanks again.